some next question I've, I've kind of noticed about you, Bill, as I've gotten to know you, that you've been rather ahead of the curve on a couple major things. So, for instance, uh, when you came onto the school board, one of the first things you were pushing for was LGBT rights. Uh, not LGBTQ at the time, but LGBT is what it was known as. Uh, so you were definitely ahead of the curve there, and it, it served 1997, you well. my first 1997. month on the, on the school board after chasing it for 16 years. Two resolutions, non-harassment and non-discrimination um, against uh, gays, lesbians, bisexual, and transgender, and a state-of-the-art health and sex education program. Right, that was only 21 years ago, and we take it for granted now. Well, uh, and the St. Louis schools have not done a lot of outreach on, e on either. I read an article that one third of teen suicide attempts are over gender identity or no orientation issues. Well, they can't very well study if they're trying to hurt themselves. And uh, so it's just the right thing to do. And if you're not, after chasing my first office for 16 years, shame on me if I'm afraid to speak out for what I believe is right. And I did it my first month on the board and every media in the area was there because they wondered if I was gonna be advocating for condoms in the schools. And I didn't, I said, I'm gonna leave that up to the administration. The superintendent appointed a task force that um, recommended my resolution, but recommended that the contraceptive piece be left to the health department. And um, I read, as is still true, that St. Louis is very high on STDs, and uh, kids can't um, study if they're getting pregnant when they're not ready to, and if they're ill and distracted by serious diseases. So. Um, Sorry for interrupting you, but those were just no-brainers. You just right. you chase this because you think you can make a difference, and and I got the chance, and I did, and I hope to again.